Senate President Bukola Saraki arriving at the Code of Conduct Tribunal for the resumption of his trial for alleged false declaration of assets. The circumstances surrounding the case is the focus of this motion being considered by the House of Representatives. Because that the same EFCC. The sponsor of the motion draws attention to alleged attempts to manipulate the administration of justice. Further concern of the fact that EFCC had previously issued a statement absolving Justice Umar of any wrongdoing and is now being charged and asked to try the Senate President with the tendency to give an impression that the game is being arranged to meet certain predetermined results for training our legal system as, fabric, as capable of being manipulated and should be of concern to everyone. The debate that follows is lively. The person who himself is alleged to have committed a crime cannot, cannot, under our law, cannot also be a judge for a case in which another person is alleged to have committed a crime. The mere allegation of a criminal conduct cannot stop or stop a judge from presiding over a criminal matter unless he's suspended. And in the case in center, he has not been suspended. Can the judge in this circumstance be free to administer justice? Bearing in mind that the same person who is prosecuting him is asking him to convict another person. Let us be realistic. Mr. Speaker, primarily and objectively, justice cannot be seen to be done in the circumstance. So I'll put the question. Those in favor of the motion say aye. aye. Those against it say nay. Aye, serve it. With this resolution, the House mandates its Committee on Judiciary to interact with the Attorney General of the Federation on the matter. Lanre Lassisi, Channels Television News.